Hello, this is Gene Sutton with AgNav. Today we're going to talk about converting shape files to N01 files. First thing we'll do is open up Spray View. Before we can do any conversion with the shapes, we have to make sure our entry new is in our folder. And I've made a folder called Workup Folder and I put my entry new in there, but the entry new is in the C drive eggnet folder. Now I'll show you where it's at. Do this PC local C eggnet folder and the entry new is right here. If I want to copy it, right click, copy, and then I can paste it in any folder that I that I'm using. So I will um, open up the entry new. Here it is right here. Double click it. And I'll check the units, US or metric. Uh, I want to use US and the swath width is 60 feet. The swath width determines how many grid lines are in the polygon. Make sure the meridian is correct for the spray areas. Set in UTM or lat longitude. If you're not sure, use the lat long. The ellipsoid is normally WGS 84. Make sure the hemisphere is correct, north or south. The datum shift should be zero. So I can go ahead and open up the shape files conversion. Click on the menu, import, batch convert. And I have folders selected, which is my input folder and my output. I have common folder, which is output into the same folder as the input. Here are my areas here. And uh, I want to add a prefix. You can add any prefix you want. You might do tail number, pilot name, maybe date, or be creative and come up with something that works for you. Today I'm going to put in a code to represent um, where the files went. So right now I'm going to convert them. They're going to go back to the workup folder. I'm going to code that with W, U, and F. Here they are. Close it. Now we may not want to send it back to the same folder. We may want to send it to the USB. So I will uncheck common output folders. And I'll click on the little button here and select the E drive. That's where my USB is. Say OK. And I'm going to change the prefix to represent where I sent the files. So it'll be USB. Look good. Conversion. And my files have went to the USB stick. Sometimes uh, you might want to just pick one or two files from a long list. And so um, it takes a little while to de delete these, and you have to delete them one at a time, depending on what you're trying to do. But if you're looking for just a, one or two files, you can unselect folders, close it out, reopen it. And then we can click the Add button, and you can add files from any folder that you have. We're going to add them from the Workup folder, so I'm going to come up here and back up one step on the address to the C drive. Workup folder. And I'll select to, and I'm going to change the prefix to add.
and do the conversion. There's our conversion. So close this out. Let's take a look in the folder and see what we have. The workup folder. We have uh, the workup folder files, and then the last two we just added. Let's take a look at the USB E drive. And here's all the USB files that we had. Go back to the workup folder. Some people uh, may just want to throw everything in one folder. And after their conversions are done, then they'll want to put them in the USB. So to do that, I can select the files. Right click, send to, E drive. And they're over there. So let's take a look at that. So here you have your workup files, your USB files, and your add files. And we can open this up in Spray View and take a look at them if you like. Here's my workup folders open. We can look at some of the settings here. Um, output 2 only works on one polygon. You see it's showing 55 acres and the total line length is 7.8. That happens to be this polygon right here. Normally you would open up just one if you were looking at output 2. Output 3 shows the total acres and the total material needed for whatever you have open. It could be one area or uh, multiple areas, whatever you have. We can go to settings and this is where you would change your application rate that would give you uh, the total material needed for output 3. If you want, you can use your uh, mouse to check the location of the polygon. For example, this polygon here, and it, the coordinates um, should show the polygon pretty much in the right place. If it's 500 miles off, you need to start over again. If you want to confirm just before you go fly, everything looks good, and it's a would actually be a good time to go in and uh, do the numbers, do the grid line direction, do any projects that you have. But that's another day. Thank you very much.